So this is a little walk through on May 31st. You can see Frank peering through. We've got a very large hops vine growing on our fence on the other side. Our Niagara Falls uh, white pine is getting tall actually. It's about close to seven feet tall now. Got our Carl Forrester grass here. And some irises that are starting to bloom. We still have a little bit of shade coming through after our very large storm. You can see a lot of debris on the street and over here that we basically had to take out of our garden after the large storm took place about a week or so ago. We have some silver maples that are owned by the city of Ottawa and just to give you an idea there's some that are sort of wishboned and they're hung up on some of the very large, large, large branches. This is about a 70 or 80 foot tree in my estimation. Hard to, hard to tell. There's actually four of them in a row. There's quite a bit of damage. We're not sure if the city's going to take them out yet or what they're going to do. We also have the start of a bit of a rock river. It's a path that I'm retooling this year. Uh, part of it's finished, but a lot is still yet to be done. So it isn't very wide. I'd say it's about a foot and a half wide, sometimes up to about two feet wide. I still have to work on some of the edging and then doing some shaping of, of things with some larger rocks when I have, have time. So basically, it's a little bit of a tour in the dappled shade. Might take out this basketball net this year. Our kids aren't really using it all that much and it's a little bit of extra square footage for the garden as well if we take it out. So we'll look into that. A lot of things that are starting to bloom including geraniums. That's a sanguisorba right here as well. Tenus, tenuifolia. It'll get quite large. Nepeta. Some more irises over here, some more nepeta, lots of plants including some rudbeckia, some artemisia. This is a geranium that I grew from seed last year, all the way from England or UK, and it's a geranium that's called Bill Wallace. And uh, it's a Bill Wallace was a pioneer actually, and he used to uh, hybridize various plants and this one actually took his name so he thought quite highly of this one. You can see some of the beautiful little flowers. You can get in closer but it's still moving around quite a bit so hard to hard to really zoom in but it's a lovely lovely plant. I really like it. We have Sanguisorba here and also some uh, smaller baby joe pie weed that's going to be developing there as well. We have a Seven Sons uh, tree. I forget the name of it, um, the actual Latin name of it, but it's still very, very small. We just got it last fall, but over time it will get larger and I will shape it up and it'll provide a little bit of extra shade as well. So we have a lot of things precariously overhanging the garden right now, but um, it's been safe to walk through. I'm always just trying to stay vigilant as I'm going through regardless. <laughs> we have a sad little azalea that um, I just replanted and it does have some leaves on it and I'm going to leave it in this area and maybe design it, uh, you know, work, work on uh, branches and whatnot as they develop as well, just to sort of shape it how I would like. We have some columbine. I'll walk a little closer in a minute. I'll just give you a little pan here. So basically what we ended up doing, oh, there's a Aruncus uh, dioecious as well as a uh, rhododendron that's blooming in the back there. That's a woolala hosta, a big daddy hosta just over here. And this is the woolala and a lot of the cherry um, 
Rogersius. These are the cherry, or it's called Henry C. I. Uh, cherry, something like that. I forget the full, full name. And then some um, bugbane, uh, Simisifusia, I believe is what it's called. And we have some clematis growing up our trellis. It's in its third year, so this year it's going to start leaping around and hopefully having lots of pretty blooms as well. We also have um, some meadow rue, philitrum. don't know the specific variety, but there's a few of them. I took this from another part of the garden and I took this section and the section just over here and I split them from one plant actually and they took quite well. They're pretty resilient. I was surprised how well it did. And these are yellow wax bells. This is um, Aurelia Sun King. Um, Astelboides. Um, I forget the full name of the plant. I just got that this year. Luckily it wasn't destroyed by the the large tree that fell on it, although it, part of a leaf is, is gone. So we're still working on layering the garden. We have two berms. So one of the berms is basically in this area here. And the other berm is just over here. We already had this berm on the go. But the new berm has been developed as a result of the trenching that I've done uh, in order to make this new uh, rocky pathway. Some little aquilegia that are starting to, to bloom. And the brunera, it's still blooming away. I've actually used some of the blue little flowers in a tulip bouquet that I made for my grandmother. It was quite nice. They actually hold up for quite a bit of time, actually, which was I, another thing I was surprised about. So that's what the garden's looking like now. A few different heucheras here. Some Japanese halkalonkloa grass few different hostas that I just sort of moved around to sort of create a little bit of volume on the berm. And I'm trying to remember the name of this character. It's called Chia something or other, C-H-I-A, and it has a longer name, but it's related to sedum. And these little branches are supposed to get sort of taller with these sort of draping over uh, yellow flowers. I was hoping to have them a little bit over the Rock River. That's how it's looking in its first year there now. Have to do a little bit of weeding, but that's a that's a constant. Um, anyways, I just have to sort of keep it up from time to time. So that's the side garden as it is for now. We have a lot of newer plants that are in their second year. Give you a little bit closer of a view. So that's it, just a lunchtime quick little video. This is what I like to do sometimes when I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> just come out and take a look at the garden and see what's changing because it's constantly changing day by day. You enjoyed this video and I will hope to post some more videos shortly of the uh, main garden as well. Thank you. Have a good day.